I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> For real, like it shocks people to see me. They just like, oh my God, that's Pooch. And I got people come up to me and talk to me and they just be like, hey Roman, he's black. They, they, like, <laughs> you're, like, you're like, what? Like, yeah, it's surprising. My name is Pooch and I have a job at Artistic Element in Yucaipa, California. I've been tattooing for 15 years, started off in street shops a little bit all in New York City. As I traveled, I learned a little bit more. As I went along, all types of realism, old school work, and traditional work. And then for the past eight years, I kind of developed into the portrait world. And I've been stuck on it ever since. I wish I had an apprenticeship. I had a few friends who was involved in tattooing at the time in New York and North Carolina. And they kind of just handed me the ropes and showed me some stuff, but it was kind of hard when I was tattooing back then. It was kind of like a biker field type thing. So it was mainly, you know, the bikers who was involved. There was not no brothers <laughs> trying to get into the industry at the time. So it was kind of rough, but I had a couple of friends who helped me out, who pushed me in certain ways and guided me. Just everything about the culture, man. I mean, honestly, just the ability to be able to have my artwork on people's skin forever. You know, that's the greatest fucking thing ever. You know, to spend hours on a piece and know it come out great and your client is happy. That's pretty much it. Clean and simple. <laughs> Nah, to be honest with you, my mother supported it. You know, it was weird, like, how she did it. Like, she always told me, okay, if I gave her good grades, I can have a chance to go to the village and watch the guy's tattoo. You know, so that's how she kept me in school, you know? So it's kind of crazy how my art, it saved me to stay in school. You know, like, I got science class, history class. I was learning things as I was tattooing them, because I was always into portraits. I was always into realism. And when I went to school, like, a lot of things just fascinated me, and my mother was just like, Okay, well, if you bring me these grades, you can go to the village and you can stay in the shop and do this and do that and hang out. So I was sold. And then on the snow hit 15, she was like, okay, well, if you hand me good grades again, I'll get you some tattoo equipment. That's when I was sold. I was like, all right, mom, cool. My dad hated everything about it. Couldn't stand it. He was like, hey, son, you know how to draw. You got artistic talent. His thing was that, you know, honestly, you can have a job at Disney or you can have a job doing something else. He hated everything about tattooing. I mean, I'm not gonna say like I asked him, but like he didn't support it at all, you know, because he, like, you know, as a parent, you support your kid in anything that they do, you know, but um, he was more or less like, he wanted something to pass stability. And let's be honest, of tattooing, you don't have that. You know, there's days where um, you could be slammed and there's weeks you can't have nothing. You know, like even an artist as myself, I work at Artistic, I, mean, I still have my hard days, you know? I still struggle, I still give away my free tattoos. You know, so his thing was that, you know, he didn't want me to start a family and start into something and really I don't have stability you know so that's why I was like alright dad I kind of respected it but then as the years grew and he started seeing me and he started he started seeing that I am coming home with a paycheck and I am handling my own bills he kind of was like okay cool because off a of tattoo in, in the early 90s so now it's different now it's a business you know so he approves now and like this is something that I want to do and I've been doing it ever since and I love it you know My biggest inspiration right now is just anybody that's pushing, you know, like you go on Instagram, you see all these new artists coming up, all these old artists right now who's getting pushed, you know, so you go up on there, you get inspired by any and everything. Oh, my biggest influences right now, my man, Roman Abrego, of course. What up, bro? Um, AD Pancho, Carlos Torres, Nico Hurtado. But well, honestly, the list is endless, you know, but as I said before, it's just a lot of the guys right now who's pushing, you know what I'm saying, trying different things and different techniques and 
all types of attention to detail, you know, so seeing that, it's like, okay, you know what? Or finally, I have to go back home and I have to draw, you know, I got to step it up a little bit, you know? So that's what keeps me motivated. Dude, I live, eat, sleep, drink art. If I'm not tattooing, I'm drawing. And if I'm not doing that, I'm painting. Well, honestly, a lot of the time I'm studying on videos and, you know, online, stuff like that. I have an art class and studying and stuff like that. I'm, I'm all types of color theory, shadowing, I have lighting. I'm always trying my best to sit up here and step it up. Every, ch every chance I can get. Everybody thinks it's portraits. It's not, people. Mm -hmm. Honestly, my favorite thing to do is realism in general. You know, it don't necessarily have to be a portrait. I'm known for that. If I like to do flowers, yes, flowers. All different types of still life objects. I love still life stuff. Statues. You know, different types of things, man, that has a, a whole lot of detail in it. I, I love challenging myself. So I would have to say my favorite style is realism. <laughs> Started off on doing on black and gray tattoos, and as the years progressed, and started seeing the artists coming out with different things like Nico Hurtado, you know, he stepped the ball pretty high. You know, after seeing him and Roman and all these guys just pushing these color works out, I was just like intrigued by it. So I tried my first one, and then I was stuck on it. You know, like oh my god, like of the same blends I can use in black and gray, I can put them in color and make them stand out a little bit more and vibrant. Um, even my black and gray pieces are not like a typical whole wash piece. They're actual, you know, it's color. It's black and actual gray. You know, so I kind of like, I love the color, dude. And it's surprising to people to see a black dude doing color. But, you know, it's, it's great, man. It's something new. It's something different. I'm always trying different things, and I love it, you know. Ooh, touchy subject. That's hard. You know, like, as you can see right now, I just got all serious just now. You know, it's it's rough, man. I have a daughter that's four years old, you know, and I'm missing on her a lot. But at the same time, it's what I need to do to get her all what she needs, you know. But I got to stay focused. I got to stay grounded. You know, but it's rough, dude. It's, it's really rough. It's really rough. As you can tell, I got emotional as soon as you ask that question, you know. Keep it real. You know, there's some artists who don't want to talk about that. I will. You know, it's hard. It's very, very hard. Now, um, I travel a lot. Um, half of my tattoo career, it was based all upon traveling. Still do it now. Well, this year alone, I'm 38 shows in. You know, so I'm always on the road. If, honestly, staying on the road kind of helps out with your artistic growth. You get to see all different people and all different styles and meet different types of cultures. It's beautiful, you know? And I was selling that, so it's like, mm -hmm. dude, you had a time in your life, you know? So it's great traveling. I'm never gonna stop the traveling, though. Never. Yes, it's a big difference. I'm from New York, as everybody know, and I love my city, you know? But artistically, everybody out there, they want is quantity. It's not quality, you know? I have a lot of friends out there that still tattoo who I'm close with who kind of have the same struggles. You know, everybody wants a deal or there's no artistic challenge type of thing. Everybody's out for themselves out there, you know? I mean, I still go out there now to this day, but on the West Coast, it's more, if you're an artist who's pushing yourself and want more, you come at any shop around here or go anywhere and be accepted, you know? And once I got out here a year ago, I just seen and I fell in love with it. So I was sold, you know? Honestly, the way I carry myself is the way I am. You know, I don't sugarcoat anything. I don't have no secrets. It is who it is. I have a four-year-old daughter. I'm art-driven. You know, I like to put a smile on my face. I don't like to be miserable. I am who I am. There's really no secrets about me. You know, this is Pooch. Uh -huh. Hi. Oh. <laughs> In the same spot I'm at right now, having some amazing people, I get a chance to tattoo and work an artistic element here in California. I am so content and I'm so happy. You know, as an artist, I can definitely have more to do in my artwork and that's cool, but honestly, I'm blessed, dude. I couldn't ask for anything more. I really couldn't.
did I start? Kind of an interesting question. I've been doing this too long. I don't remember that shit. Nah, oh, <laughs> nah. As I started, little, okay. <laughs> You know, uh, uh, on hit color theory, stuttering. Oh, oh, stuttering. Um, I ain't no fucking choice, nigga. I'm from the projects now. Um, these questions are kind of hard because you don't get asked these questions like every day. You can make it as stupid as funny as you want. Mm -hmm. I love to laugh. I hate the solemn videos when niggas are like this hard. Mm -hmm. And this is what I do from A to Z. Yeah, nigga, stop being so serious. Nigga, smile. Like. Who wants to see a depressive video, you know? I'm, I'm pooch and I'm black, man. No, no. <laughs> and, I, I, and, and I answer to the best of my knowledge. Right. It's about nine feet. All right, go ahead. Come on, sis, you know what it is. <laughs> like you don't want to sing it. Oh yeah, touchy subject. Okay, E True Hollywood story. Mm -hmm. This is how we do it. Um, what the fuck was that, spider? Just crawling like the light. I said, don't look up. I'm petrified of fucking spiders. Edit that, motherfucker. 